Can you build a tiny house inside an old barn? This is Joe and Gail out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. Let me welcome you back if you're a subscriber. Thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, wouldn't you consider hitting that, that, that button there? Go ahead and subscribe and ding that bell so you get notified when I upload content. Uh, it really helps this channel. Uh, and I need to start making money on this channel uh, with the project I got coming on. But uh, remember, like, share, comment, especially comment, especially on this video. I'll tell you later why, but I really need comments on this one. I need input and I need ideas from you guys. You guys have been brilliant on a lot of this stuff. So, let me get into it. I came out here, I wanted to do a short video because it is cold. We don't want to take you outside and you see the snow. Um, we're, you know, we're a couple years away from moving out here permanently. And I've been looking at different options of, of what to do. We can't live in this cabin. I did a video explaining the purpose of this cabin. This is great for the weekends. Uh, it's warm in here with the heat. But we would kill each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's way too small for two people to live in. Uh, and all Gail's cats. So, and Max. So, we have to have a permanent solution. And we talked about... Go ahead. Come on, get in here. Were you raised in a barn? Uh, come on, get up here. This is Creamer's bed, by the way. That's why I'm not disturbing it. Um, so, and he was expecting me to bring Christmas presents out to him, I think. But I'll be out here next week, too. Um, anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted. By the cat. <laughs> Not me. Um, various options. You know, we talked about putting a single-wide mobile home out here. Talked about one thing, you know, we talked about building a, a larger cabin. Um, one thing I learned from building this cabin, one of the, the valuable lessons I got from this, I don't want to build another one. Uh, this was a boatload of fun. I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes. But I don't want to do another one. I like this being what it is. Just a place to hang out. Um, and it's good for that. So, uh, building another cabin is out of the question. Having a house built, you know, or having the shell of a cabin built and we just finished the inside. You know where those posts were, where it's going to do the original building. Um, that would have to all be excavated and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it would be cool because, you know, I could put in a septic system and run electric to the place. Uh, they said if I had the shell of a, of a house built and a septic system in, they'd run all the electric for free. Um, but... You know, in looking at that, I'm 63 years old. I'm going to be 65 or 66 when we move out here. Gail's going to be 63, 64, 65, 66. Whenever I let her move out here, who knows? Um, this is why we're not living in this kind of <laughs> So, um, it, it's... Uh, again, uh, there I go, you know, uh, it's so easy for me to lose my train of thought these days. Anyway, you're looking at, you know, to put a single white out here, a minimum of $30,000. To have a house built, you're looking at $50,000. A shell of a cabin, just the shell, would be fifteen grand. And then we still got to do the inside. So, I thought of a way to do it and a very inexpensive way to do it and what's really going to be cool I think you know by the time I uh, you know I'm going to show you my idea that I had my plan and no I'm not converting the barn to a house I don't have the money for that but 
It's not a barn conversion. But I have come up with a solution that I like. I think Gail likes it. And I'm going to go for it. So, without further ado, let me show you my plans. So, let's go inside and let me show you what I decided to do. The first thing I have to do is fix this bridge going across here. Uh, but I put down the extra board and this morning I shoveled it all off, put salt on it so it's not it's not slippery much. <laughs> Come on in the barn. Come on in. All right, so what I've decided is I have a foundation. I have three walls and I have a roof already. That's all stuff I don't have to worry about building, really. Um, the idea here, if you will follow me, Gail. This obviously has to come down, but this is what I'm thinking of building something like this with the flat top on it, put, you know, OSB across it because we can use it for storage, we can use it for building other rooms upstairs or whatever. I'm going to build eight foot high and this barn is 36 feet wide. I'm going to come out 16 feet, which would be right about in here. You know, I may come out to these beams, but i got to look at the floor. I mean, these posts I may come out to in this ladder. I love these old ladders. Um, well, that would be but, great because then if we make it up, we can climb up this ladder to put stuff on, on the, yeah, the roof part. Yeah, we get all the way up to the top Yes. Um, if I put a deck up there. So let's not bring it up to here. This is going to be about 20 feet. So we'll have a 20 foot by 36 foot house, if you will. Now, if you notice, these slats in the camera, they look gigantic wide, the slits. They're not. All I need are the one by two battens. I have to replace the one buys, you know, some of them have to be replaced. But I put the battens up and that's a solid wall now. Uh, but I don't have to do that to start. The only thing I'm going to do, the reason those are in there, this used to be a hay barn. And they stored hay up here basically. Hay, as it dries, builds heat. It will get hot enough in an enclosed environment that it will self-combust. So you have all these slats left in here to keep a breeze blowing through and keep it cool in here for the hay. Um, over here is a trap door where they could drop hay down there to the animals. <laughs> or the creamer. Or the creamer. <laughs> Back here all blocked off, we had a, we have a set of steps going down to the basement part. So, then you have all this up top. I'm not converting this barn to a, to a house. See, he, see how he does that? He's constantly walking in front of me. Uh, I'm not doing a barn conversion to a house. Unless everybody wants to donate yeah, a whole bunch of money. <laughs> we can do a good job here. Uh, but I'm just going to build us living quarters, if you will, inside the barn. I don't see a problem with it. I'm going to take these slats. If you come over here, Gail. I'm coming because I'm following Creamer, who's following Creamer. Yeah. 
You can see these are real, I can't even get my finger through these. Uh, I'm going to leave these exposed because I think they're pretty cool. These are 4 by 4s So all I will have to do, I'm going to put plastic in all this for right now. We'll put plastic in here and wrap this side and that corner with plastic. It'll keep the weather out and keep the rain out and stuff and the wind while I'm building in here. Because until we saw the house in Wheeling, I don't have enough money to do the sheathing on the barn. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. I might buy that insulation board and put it up back there. I don't know yet. But a temporary fix to seal it all in. Uh, but I'm going to frame in windows all the way around the sun. This is the south side of the barn. I'm going to have windows going across here. We're going to build a deck off the barn. I'll cut up a frame it in, cut up an opening where we can walk out onto a deck and look at all of our hill out there and everything. Windows all along through here. Uh, this is about six feet high. So I gotta look, go a little bit higher. I don't want, you know, 12 foot roof. But uh, I can frame inside there, frame the windows, insulate it, and put whatever we want over the wall you know, coming out to here, so that those posts remain exposed. I think those would be a cool little feature. Um, two by six framing on a floor to level it all up. I'm going to put a billboard down here, because I have another billboard up there, so that it's all covered in plastic, heavy plastic. Two by sixes, insulation, I'm going to use that rock saw insulation. Waterproof, fireproof, and vermin proof. So there won't be a. <laughs> I don't know what he's. What a. What a cat. I thought uh, maybe he had something. So anyway, they're framing the ceiling. Like I said, I put a deck on top. It, it's pretty much done. You know, I mean, so okay. much of it. So may as well take advantage of this. Um, so, and then a door coming out here, maybe a door down there, so we have another egress, uh, plus we'll have the deck out there. Um, a chicken coop on the outside of the barn, right there in the corner, in the mornings to feed them or whatever, just walk down the steps. You don't have to get out in the weather. Uh, it'll be cold out here, <laughs> but... It won't be raining and it won't be snowing in here. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll work. I think this will be really cool. It will be stealthy. If I put in a septic, I would have to get a permit for the septic. But I'm not doing that. So, I keep trying to move, but I'm going to move back over here where there's not all the light behind me. Uh, my direct keeps motioning me around and I keep losing my train of thought because that's the way I am. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be our house. I don't have to do the excavation out there. In the basement, I'm going to take you down to the basement and show you where I'll put a water tank for rain catchment. I mean, it's a huge roof. We're going to get a lot of rain off this roof. Uh, and where I'll do my solar, I'll mount something on this side of the barn because, like I said, that's due south. And I'll mount all the solar panels back there. And we'll live here. So I will take you around to the basement of the barn that I was talking about. We get over here and then you can hop down. <laughs> Hi, Creamer. Follow you. Yep. Those, All right. Those black things were down. Yeah, the wind. Uh, so, 
this is the underside of the barn. This is the basement I was talking about. And what we're going to do here, or what I can do here, is in this first stall, will be, I'll frame it in a little better and insulate, but the water tank will go in here, the battery bank will go in here, you know, all the uh, you, uh, mechanicals room, the water pump. I mean, I got some more research to do because I want to know where that, you can't focus on it, the electric supply is. That water line coming down. I don't know what all was going on down here. But I think electric was run to this barn and water was run to it at some point. I got to research a little bit more. But I think if you look at this framing, those are like 2 by 12s and 10 by 10 beams and posts. And I'm not worried about any structure issues with putting the the house up there on this side of the barn because it is not going to be a problem well, holding it up the posts right there. yeah I mean we got all the posts we need it's pretty awesome and we figure it's going to come over to about this beam right here so it's not spanning that far but yeah, this is, uh, that's why I'm not worried about a foundation. Let me take you back upstairs. This is going to be the most inexpensive option for moving out here. Boy, my hands are cold. <laughs> uh, what? What do you want? No. <laughs> you're all dirty now. Yes, you're all dirty. Uh... But yeah, I hope you all like this. Um, if you think anything I need to do, or if, if you don't think this is a doable thing, I mean, this barn is old, and it's an old timber frame barn that's going to withstand everything, you know? I just need to do some simple framing and uh, insulating, and we got us a house in here. Uh, but... We got something. Then I got views for all those cabinets. Uh, my Youngstown metal cabinets can go in there in the kitchen. And what uh, will you do with the cabin we built? Well, the cabin is going to be a guest cabin. If anybody wants to come and visit, if the boys want to come and visit. Because uh, <coughs> a 16 or 20 by 36 building is not going to be that big. So, we have a guest cabin for anybody who wants to use it. It's still going to be finished up. It's going to be Creamer's cabin. And said, yeah, it's going to be for Creamer. But no, that's another thing. We don't have to worry about mice or anything because Gail's got 28 cats at home. And by the time I get this built in two years and we move out here, she'll have another 10 or 15 cats at least. So, they'll all be out here. You'll be the boss, don't worry. Uh, they'll all be out here taking care of the mice and all that. Uh, and Max can stay out here. We'll put AstroTurf down so he'll have a little lawn. I mean, hey, uh, we could grill in here if it's raining outside or snow, whatever. We could have the grill in here. I mean, just have us a little. Uh, this is 60 feet long. <laughs> so we have us a little front yard out our doors. And, uh, you know, it, it's. Just, it's the most economical and I think the coolest way to do it. I'm excited about it. Uh, as soon as I start getting some money together, I'm going to start working on it. Uh, this spring, I hope to be able to get started. And we, we saw a few pictures on Pinterest, Yeah. but they built theirs inside of a pole barn. Right. right. A lot of, of people uh, do that. Barn. They have pole barns built. And they built, you know, their house out of a pole barn. Yeah, but these people we're, built a little cabin inside that. the pole right. barn. We're not doing that. We're building inside this old timber frame barn that's been around who knows how many decades. Uh, and we'll utilize that. This barn is what made us buy this property. So why not take advantage of it? And once I get all this sealed in, we're not going to 
it's just going to be the best. You know, uh, I, I'm really excited, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get a part-time job just so I can try to make extra money to buy material for out here. It's not going to cost that much. That's the idea behind it. Simple lumber. I'm not doing any roofing. I'm not doing any foundation. I don't have to do any excavating. I don't, nothing. You know, just frame it up, move into it, be done with it. We'll put a uh, wood stove in there, and in the basement or up here, <laughs> we have all the storage we need for firewood. We don't have to build a separate thing to store firewood. Uh, the whole bottom of this barn, it's 36 by 60 as well. Uh, so it'll be a piece of cake. And I'm really looking for it. I think this was the best way to go. I know a lot of people have suggested, you know, converting it into a house, but it would be too expensive. And it's, it's, I can't afford to heat a place like this or cool it. And, uh, and it's just me and you. Yeah, it's just It's not, we don't have right. five kids that we're, right. we're not, you know, we don't need. And we're not 30. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, building this is going to be a piece of cake. There's no climbing up on the roof. There's no trying to put raptors in, you know, none of that kind of crap. Uh, just simple framing, making a box inside here is what we're going to do. Now it'll be plenty big enough for a bedroom, a bathroom, a living room area, kitchen, uh, sewing room for Gail. Out here we can build like almost in an L shape and put a canning room if we want to, whatever we need. Uh, this is just going to be great. Creamer, you ready to go? Uh, anyway, I hope you all like this video. Again, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe thing, hit the bell so you know when we upload more content. And uh, like, comment, share. Definitely share this video with this idea because uh, I really want y'all's input. I want to know what people think about it and what suggestions they would make. Um, what kind of, you know, siding to put on it for when you walk in. Remember where I got those beams milled at? Yes, that he had that, yeah. There, yeah. And he had it look like a, a log cabin inside that barn? No, he didn't have it look like a log cabin. It looked like a, a western yeah, store. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what that's what Yeah, it looked like I'm a western do. store. Yeah, it'll look like a... Uh, uh, a storefront. Storefront from the old west. With, you know, the, the livery, the bar, you know, shit like that. So I might do that in here just for looks. But, uh, yeah, give me ideas. Give me your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you think. And like I said, I think for $10,000, we're going to have us a really nice home out here that we don't ever have to worry about anything. And in inclement weather, doesn't matter. We can still go outside and do whatever we want because we have this. If Gail kicks me out, uh, him and Max will be on the other side yeah, of the barn. <laughs> exactly. Because I could come out 10 feet and put Gail's over here, come out 10 feet from the other side and put mine. And then run the L, run across, and then Max and the cats could have that one. <laughs> Unlimited possibilities. But uh, anyway, it's cold. This is December 19th. You saw plenty of snow out there. Uh, we're going to go in the cabin where it's warm. I'll turn the heater on. It's warm in there. But uh, I can't think of anything else. Can you? No. All right. We're out. <laughs>